Welcome to the Quick Start Guide for Quick BI. To get started, navigate to alibabacloud.com. Hover over Products, Analytics and Big Data, and click on Quick BI. If you are a first-time registrant of alibaba.com, you can enter for free. Click on Buy Now to enter your details. Organizational Unit Management is a function of QuickBI Pro that supports collaborative data development. An organizational unit generally refers to a small or medium enterprise, a public institution, a department of a school, or a department of a large company. This allows department-specific reporting and role-specific content. To create an organizational unit, navigate to Settings the top right-hand toolbar. Here, I'll create three organizational units, sales, finance, and marketing. Click on Add Member. And note that I'm not setting any of these as administrator. The next step is to create a workplace. In a workplace, group members can collaborate to create and modify data sources, data sets, worksheets, dashboards, and data portals based on their roles. These data objects exist in the workspace they belong to, and different workspaces have different data objects. In our example, I'll create a workspace called Prospects. I'd like for the sales and marketing teams to both have access to this workspace, so I'll add them as members. To add members, highlight your workspace, and navigate below. In this tutorial, you learn how to create an organizational unit, how to create a workspace, and finally how to add members to a workspace. BI makes it easy to connect databases, either local or on the cloud. Here's how to make a data connection. On the left-hand side of the navigation pane, select Data Sources. Click on the plus sign to create a new data source. Select your database source type. In this example, we'll use MySQL. Name your data source and complete the requested information. Test the connection. Once the data source connection has been verified, go ahead and add. And that's it. My test database has been added. Quick BI makes it easy to create data sets. In fact, it can be done with a single click. On the left-hand side, 
Select data sets. Then on the upper right hand side, select create data set. This will open your previously uploaded data sources. Navigate to test database. That's the one we entered earlier. And with a single click, create the data set. In terms of data modeling, note that both star and snowflake schemas are supported. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use workbooks and connect data sets from existing data sources. On the navigation on the left hand side, enter workbooks. On the right hand side, create a new workbook. To add a data set, Go to the arrow on the right hand side of the page and click on switch data set. I'll select the previously added employee data set. Within this workbook setting, I can do an analysis using data. I'm going to pull employee IDs salary and gender information into the columns. I'll preview a hundred lines and I'm looking at items. Once I hit update the data will populate in the spreadsheet environment. Great. What if I want to do an analysis now? This spreadsheet environment allows the use of formulas. For instance, if I want the salary totals of males, I could sum if just as you would in an Excel worksheet. I could also count if. And come out with the average salary. If I do this again for females, I'll have my result. So in this tutorial, you learn how to set up the workbook, load existing data sets from existing data sources, and perform basic spreadsheet functions. In this tutorial, we'll go through dashboards. On the left-hand navigation pane, enter dashboards. On the right-hand side, click create standard dashboard. Let's load an existing data set. I'll use the employee data set that we've been using previously. The first dashboard I'll create 
involves a bar chart. A look at values of average salary and dimension of educational level. setting it to bar chart and when I click update it will preview a thousand lines of data. Here you can see the average salary by educational level. If we want to visualize the data a little bit differently we can use a pie chart Here, I'd like to see what percentage of total salary and there you have it, the percentage of total salary for each level of education. In this tutorial, you learned how to make a simple dashboard by drawing upon existing data sets.